Welcome to the beer review of me, Jake. So today we have a beer from Northern Mum Mump. <laughs> today we have a beer from Northern Monk. It is their Tropical Edge, which is a passion fruit and mango. I can't talk today. Which is a passion fruit and mango light IPA coming in at two point eight percent. Part of their twist edition, where they take one of their regular beers and give it a bit of a twist, usually fruity, of some description. So judged by the name, this is probably based off their Striding Edge, which is a beer when it first came out that I, I really enjoyed. Um, I, it didn't quite grab me as much when, when it sort of went to supermarket shelves, which is, which is where I found this one. It was on Waitrose and it just caught my eye. And it says here, our signature hazy light IPA, Striding Edge, with added passion fruit and mango to boost the tropical hop flavours, take a stride on the wild side. So there we go. Where's the old ingredients then? See what we've got in here. Water, mango puree, malted barley, passion fruit juice concentrate, oats, wheat, maltodextrin, hops, and yeast. So yes, let's get a little glass and crack this one open, shall we? 2.8% with all of that sort of uh, fruity stuff in there. Load of puree in that. I wonder what this is gonna be like. Is it just gonna be overwhelmingly just like fruit juice? Let's Let's see. Look, 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 look. Spin, 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 spin. I mean, it looks a bit like lilt or something like that in the glass. It's got the same effervescence as a fizzy drink or like a sparkling water drink. The head was big, huge bubbles and then they've just gone. So I'm thinking there's a lot of puree and stuff in this. No head retention whatsoever. And it, and it is very sparkling. And he drank it then, didn't sip it first. Let's go for a sniff, shall we? Oh, God. Yeah, it just smells like tropical fruit juice, like breakfast juice. Yeah, a load of mango. Not necessarily getting passion fruit to me. It's smelling a bit more like pineapple. It smells like a, a just a fizzy drink, a sparkling water, something like that. Don't quite know what I was expecting with this, but I wanted it to be a little bit more beery. Let's give it a little try. Cheers. Oh. Yep. That tastes just like a fizzy drink. Yeah, it's definitely got that sort of passion fruit sort of tartness. Quite a quite an actual nice authentic mango flavour, I'd say. It's a little bit acidic. It's a little bit sweet. You are left with a little sort of like rich tea biscuit malt character. And it does end a little bit dry. It is quite refreshing. That initial sort of way from the uh, passion fruit has died down a little bit. Yeah, but it does, def it has a, a bit of a alco pop, hard seltzer vibe to it, this one. I'm searching for the for the beer within and I can't quite see it. Maybe that's because it's such, such a low ABV beer and adding just a, a shitload of adjuncts to it adjuncts are just obviously going to do dominate and it's affected the the body and the, the head retention and as well as being such predominant flavors really but it's refreshing um and that's that's really the the the, the, the only good but it's, i'm not going to throw it away there's the good points for you refreshing and it doesn't deserve to go down the drain there we go pick it up if you want to try it it's um it is what it is so that was everything from Northern Monk, Mon I said it again, Northern Monk's Tropical Edge. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on Northern Monk in general. And I'll see you on the next one. I never do a thumbs up. What was that about? <laughs>